Hello everyone and welcome back. So yeah, today I ran to the dollar store, as you do, and um, I'll just show you what I got. So I started off with the St. Patrick's Day stuff and I got myself a big old shamrock with the cute little cutouts. Um, I'm going to just hang this on my door, representing, you know. So I bought a couple of styrofoam wreaths because I am too cheap and I insist on making my own wreaths. Uh, I, I just find it hard to pay for them and they're just so expensive and they're so easy to make some yourself. And um, these are very nice. They're not huge, but uh, they're very sturdy. I'm pretty impressed with how, how, you know, hard that they are. Because I've had some styrofoam ones that break very easy. Bought my son a couple of puzzles, an ABC one and a farm one. And I mean, you can't go wrong for a dollar. My husband needed some hydrogen peroxide, so, you know, no expense spared. Got it at the dollar store. I hope it's okay. First, I got their pluckers, which these are pretty good. These, um, they sell floss with these. So, um, I did, I'm not holding great expectations on these. I did need some cotton rounds, so I bought them from the dollar store. I don't know what sort of quality they are. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh gosh, they're really thin, <laughs> really thin. I'll go through those really quickly, but that's okay. I just needed some. I'll get some more at, when I go to a proper store. I got uh, this Colgate um, Kids from 8 Up. Yeah, ages 8 Up. Florida toothpaste in fresh mint. And my children do not like, most of my kids, I have four, and my older ones, they don't like the bubblegum flavor, but... Um, adult mint one is too minty for them, so I'm holding out great hope for this. I've never seen this before, so I hope it's minty but not too minty, you know, where they burn their mouths off. So we'll see. Colgate for a dollar. I got this for me because I'm like 12. Some bazooka. I haven't had bazooka since I was 12. So, yeah. Blue raspberry and original flavor. So I got this small red bucket, which is nice and shiny, and it's it's a nice size. And um, you know, I didn't have I have bigger buckets, but I don't have a smaller bucket. And sometimes you need um, a smaller bucket for your cleaning and stuff. That's my theory. I got some. Oh, these are great. These are these car air fresheners, and I got these for. Um, Originally for my husband, um, I got these a few, oh, probably a good, before the wind, like just in the fall, and I got the vanilla ones, and they're really good. They just slide, kind of clip right into the um, vents, and they, the scent lasts a really long time, and it's not overpowering. It's not like a very air freshener -y. I see some of them probably gone at this. So this time I got Midnight Cool. I don't know what it smells like. But I mean, how can you go wrong with a name like Midnight Cool? It has, it smells of, it smells of like a cologne, almost perfumey. I don't know, we'll see. You get five of those in a pack for the dollar, so that's pretty good. Um, okay, I actually bought some food this time, which normally I do not really buy food at the dollar store. I think I have the Sarah Lee bread. Um, the white wheat. So, I, I buy this anyway. I bought some coconut milk because I'm be making a red curry. So I bought the coconut milk that I didn't have. Um, I bought some lovely classic shortbread cookies. Um, European cookies. Always delicious. Uh, we'll see about that. Oh, I bought some Scotties. 200 um, tissues. We are going through tissues in our house like there's no tomorrow. And actually I like the cheaper brands. Um, I keep them in my bathroom for makeup application, um, you know, to use when I'm like wiping things or whatever because they, they don't tend to be linty. That's why I like those kind. I bought, this is so random, I'm going between food and non-food items. Okay, so I've come to the conclusion that my children will actually eat anything. So, I bought these, it's a six pack of cookies. There's ABC cookies, animal cookies, and teddy bear, like chocolate cookies. Um, 
in little bags. So these are just like for school snacks. This is what size the bags are. So these will be perfect to put in their lunch boxes. I bought two boxes of those. Oh, and then my my son picked these up. The um, Mrs. Freshly's Buddy Bars, the peanut butter wafers. But there's only four in here. But then there are two packs, so there's eight bars. So I'm not sure if that's even a good, better value than the supermarket. And the same thing happened here. Four twin packs, eight of those rolls. I can't eat those. I can't even look at the picture. They're disgusting. Um, but my, my family love them. My husband loves them because he was raised on them. I, however, wasn't. Uh, baked with love. I have some amaretti macaroon crunchy Italian biscuits. Bite size. I thought these looked kind of nice for me when I'm having a nice cup of tea in the evening. And then I bought a bunch of stickers. So I bought, well, these little wall decal things. It's double-sided. I bought two sheets. I like two sides for my daughter's room because we'll be moving uh, this summer and where we're moving to I'm not sure that she'll be like we won't have the ability I think to put a lot of stuff on our walls and these will be simple easy and cheap to do so you know good for rental properties and you know chatting somewhere up and I, I think they're adorable if I could get away with them in my room I would but I'm sure my husband would have a problem with that so then I bought <coughs> Oh, I bought a lot of stickers. They had these that I had never seen before and I just thought they were so cute. So I bought one in almost, in every, I think this is every pattern that they had. And I'm dropping them. So they're like little shimmery strips of sticker. And I just thought really cute for planner decoration. So there's, um, there's these with like hearts and these have hearts too and these are kind of springy like flowers and butterflies and they're all kind of glittery and cute and these ones are sort of flowers can you even see that flowers and the butterflies these ones are very nice they're blue and gold stars and then I bought these I had seen these a while ago and didn't buy them and then I was like what would you do with those? What would you do with those? And I'm still not sure, but I picked them up and I'm pretty sure these are the Christmas colors. And they're basically just sticker paper. If I can get it out. Oh, it's stuck together. So it's just sticker paper, right? It's, got a, it's on a backing. Yeah, so it's sticker paper on a backing. And so do we make our own stickers? Like I thought maybe with some of our cut out, paper cut out things we could do fun things with that. You could even just cut them into strips for border decoration, planner decoration. I don't know, I'm all about the decoration. And I bought this which is also like just like tape. What are they calling it? Paper tape stickers. So I thought this was kind of a nice, a nice idea. And you know, once again, it's, oh, it's two sheets, and um, I see. So it's just like strips that come off like that. Uh, once again, it was really just all about sort of paper and planning, paper and planner decorations. You know, they're really kind of cute. I love those pinks and browns, and and that, my friends, is it. Another day of spending money at the dollar store. So I really appreciate you watching and I'd love it if you'd come back. I'd love it if you'd subscribe. Take care. Bye.